You mentioned Detroit. You came up at the same time as, as uh, Aretha Franklin. She was never signed to Motown. She's on Columbia, yeah. right, and Atlantic Records. Yeah. But uh, how does the Motown community view her? Oh my God, the Motown community views Aretha, and I'm getting taking. I'm quoting Barry Gordy Jr. He says Aretha is family to him. Uh, I remember back in those days because Aretha and I came along at around the same time. We're the we're the same age. She's just a few months a few months older than me, but <laughs> 1942. And back then, I never signed with Motown myself. But but the, the Motown family, they consider Aretha their family, and that's mainly because we all came from the same place. We're the same city. We all grew up in the same neighborhoods, played in the same streets, and uh, performed in the same the same venues in Detroit. And that's how we it all started. I kn I knew Aretha kind of vicariously from the time I was 12 years old, and then in in 19 I think 94 95 she she um, invited me. She actually hired me to perform at her birthday party. And I was a company, and she hired the uh, Duke Ellington Orchestra uh, that was conducted by Mercer Ellington, Duke's, Duke Ellington's son. And that was wonderful. I'll never forget that, that particular evening. You know, Aretha was famous, was well known for having uh, birthday parties every, you know, every year. She would celebrate her birthday, yeah. She'd have a big party somewhere in, in Detroit, some big hall or hotel. People of this generation, the younger generation, they think of the greatest voices, female vocalist voices, they think Whitney Houston or uh, Celine Dion. Where does Aretha factor in the, uh, the history of, of female vocal pop culture? Well, here's the deal. When you mention Whitney and Celine, they're both fantastic, extraordinary vocalists, believe me. But Aretha came before them. They stand on her shoulders. And she is the bar to reach. Uh, and everybody, let me tell you, everybody has their own style. You know, Aretha had her own style. I can't sing like Aretha, but there's a t what I used to try to, but I said, forget it, girl. You know? <laughs> so, but the other thing, I can sing jazz. I mean, I can sing standards, and I can sing jazz and scat. And I can be Ella Fitzgerald, I'll put it that way. I do that. I do, I do tributes, and I play Ella Fitzgerald. So I've done that, but um, Aretha to me was an entity all unto herself. She was a, natu a natural resource. That's a quote from Clive Davis. Aretha was an American res natural resource, and um, yeah, that's it. She was there was no there was only one Aretha Franklin, and it also had a lot to do with her personality, how she was as a human being. Uh, she didn't take any mess. She didn't take any mess. And she was kind of, you know, she was a shy person and in a way kind of hard to get to know. But if she liked you, she liked you. You know, and if she didn't, you knew it. <laughs> Are you kidding? I hear that the day she passed, even though it was well known that she was at going, she was at the end because of her illness. They said that you could hear Aretha music, they were playing Aretha Franklin's music all over Detroit, no matter where you went. It was, and, and the whole city was in mourning. Detroit was in mourning. I'm going to attend the funeral next week. I'm flying out to Detroit and I was invited I'm to attend the funeral, so I'm gonna go. Were you surprised at the public reaction? I, you know what? I've seen other celebrities pass away and you know, they get all this on on the on the media on TV and and it's uh but I have never seen anything like this before. You would have thought I, I don't know, you would have thought a, a president died or a, or the Queen of England died or some somebody like that. I mean it was like everywhere everywhere. All the T V shows, uh, they they th I mean it was sort of like every time and I was so happy, I was so proud. And at the same time I was crying too. My heart is crying. And my soul is crying. Yeah, you know, it's you, you never realize what a person meant to you, the, the culture of soul music, what it meant to you, how it impacted your life. And I mean, there's songs that Aretha recorded that were hits, and maybe there's a couple that wasn't a hit, 
but it meant a lot to me because it, it had something to do with something in my life, what I was going through. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. You're welcome.